Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an interesting exponential equation. I hope you find it interesting too. Please let me know. We have x to the power x to the fourth equals one over the eighth root of two, a very radical number. So let's go ahead and see how we can solve this problem. Obviously, we can talk about two different methods here. Let's go ahead and start with the first method. So I'm going to go ahead and do the following. First of all, I'd like to use substitution because substitution is so cool. It's fun. I'm going to replace x to the fourth with a variable t. That's my favorite variable these days. And then from here, x becomes t to the power one over four. If you raise both sides to the power one fourth, you're going to get this. There's a couple things here. Uh, we want t to be positive, obviously, here, right? Because uh, it's the fourth power of a real number. X is real, right? Are there complex solutions? Good question. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to replace X with T to the power 1 fourth. And I'm going to replace X to the fourth with T. So I get the following equation. And right hand side is a radical, but I can write it as 2 to the power. By the way, the bottom is uh, 2 to the power 1 eighth. It can be written uh, with a rational exponent. But since it's 1 over, it's a reciprocal. I'm going to use a negative exponent for this. So I can write it as 2 to the power negative 1 eighth. If you're working with exponential expressions and radical expressions, it's important to know how to convert them to one another. Okay? So this is my expression, and what can I do with this? T is positive. Let's go ahead and do this. Raise both sides. First of all, before raising both sides, why don't we just multiply the exponents? We get t to the power t over 4 equals 2 to the power negative one eighth. Awesome. And then we can talk about raising both sides to the fourth power. It's going to make sense, right? Because I want to get t to the t, right? So like this. Oops, I meant fourth power, not t. I want to get t at the end, but okay. So it's going to be fourth power. And now t, four is going to cancel out, and we end up with t to the power t equals two to the power negative one half because negative one eighth times four is negative one half great and negative one half can be written as one over two to the power one half and this is basically what one half to the power one half because one to the power one half is one so we can write it like this and then use a common exponent what does that mean well this should give you a really nice idea about what one of the solutions at least is going to be like if t to the t is one half to the one half, then from here you can safely say that t equals one half works, right? I'm not saying that's the only solution. Maybe it is, we're gonna check it out, but definitely t equals one half works because one to one corresponds, right? Cool. So that's a solution. Is there another solution? And the answer is yes. Is that the only solution? The answer is no, depending on the question. We can answer yes or no. Yes, uh, there is another solution. Because I'm going to take this number and manipulate it like this. Write the exponent, 1 half, as 2 times 1 fourth. Right? And then bring the 2 in because we have that power, right? Like rule. I mean, uh, pun intended. 1 half, bring the 2 in and then keep the one fourth on the outside. So since exponents are multiplied, we can bring them in and out. So what happens? What is one half squared? I think it's one fourth, right? Okay, one fourth and then we get to the power one fourth. Wow, amazing. From one half to the power one half, we got one fourth to the power one fourth. And what does this look like? If you said two to the fourth equals four to the second, you're totally right about that, right? Those are very special numbers two and four that satisfy this. Unfortunately, there are no other integers that satisfy this. Are there any other fractions like this? Probably not. Anyways, so this is another wow. Crazy, right? Don't you think? We got another solution. And could you keep producing solutions like this? Like, what if I wrote this as 4 times 1 eighth? Unfortunately, that's not going to work. You can try it. You can kind of try to get one, four, one half from 4. 
you can write it like this, but then when you bring the four in, that's gonna produce one half to the fourth power, which is not gonna agree with one eighth. So this is gonna be one uh, over 16, oops, to the power one over eight. So they're not gonna be equal. One of them is gonna be half of the other, make sense? So this is not gonna work. You can't keep doing this, obviously. Too much of a good thing, right? But at least we were able to do it one more time, which means t equals one fourth, is another solution. Let me uh, rewrite the result from here. We said that, okay, this is, this equality is true, but this also turns out to be one fourth to the power one fourth. Therefore, from here we get two solutions, t equals one half and t equals one fourth, right? Okay, now let's go ahead and take a look at the graph. I didn't make a graph, by the way. I'm just going to roughly sketch it here for you. So if you think about the graph of f of t equals t to the power t, this is what it looks like. You have a 0, 0, which is an open dot. It kind of goes down and goes up like this. Not exactly like that, but anyways, you get the idea, hopefully. And this is uh, the graph of t to the power t. Uh, by the way, that's not x. This is supposed to be a t. And we could probably write this as f of t instead of y because it doesn't have to be y. Anyways, so when you write this, and by the way, this function has a minimum, which you can evaluate. And I believe it's at t equals negative 1. Um, not negative 1, negative 1 over e. Um, 1 over e, I'm sorry. Okay, t equals 1 over e has a negative. If you go ahead and differentiate and set equal to 0, you're going to get this. But So the idea goes as follows. You take this function, you take the derivative, and then set it equal to zero. And what you're gonna get is something like this, t to the t plus times one plus ln t. When you set it equal to zero, this can't be zero. This uh, is gonna be zero. ln t is gonna be negative one. And from here, you're gonna get t equals e to the power of negative one, which is one over e. So that is the abscissa, the x coordinate of the minimum point. And if you s plug it into the expression, 1 over e to the power 1 over e, you're going to get the y value or the f of t value. But guess what? 1 half is going to be higher than that or 1 half to the power 1 half is going to be here. Let's go ahead and use a different color for that one. So our horizontal line is actually going to, this is um, t equals, mm, I don't think that's t equals, I, I should probably say f of t equals, not, yeah, because I'm not using y. 1 half to the power 1 half, and as you can see here, there's going to be two intersection points. So there are two solutions, and we got both of them, right? That's it. Let's go ahead and uh, check it out. So if t is equal to 1 half, what is x, right? Okay, we're supposed to find x. And what is t? t was, uh, remember, x to the fourth power. And from here, we get x equals the fourth root of 1 half. Remember, um, well, x cannot be negative for obvious reasons. And if t is equal to 1 fourth and that equals x to the fourth power, from here x becomes the fourth root of 1 fourth, which can also be written as the square root of 1 half. Okay? Anyways, there are two solutions. Those are going to be the x values. Negatives don't work. And basically, in short, we took 2 to the power negative 1 eighth, wrote it as 2 to the power negative 1 fourth to the power 1 half, or we wrote it as 2 to the power negative 1 half to the power 1 fourth. I hope that makes sense. And I said I was going to introduce two methods, but the second method, let me just really quickly outline it, and then you can hopefully do the rest. So we're going to get something like this. We're going to raise both sides to the fourth power directly, and obviously that's what we did for the first method too, but this is kind of like without substitution. And then from here you get x to the power 4x to the fourth, which becomes x to the fourth to the power x to the fourth, and then you get the same equality, but in kind of a little faster way right but you also have to work out this one as well and this brings us to the end of this video thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it please let me know don't forget to comment like and subscribe i'll see you next time with another video until then be safe take care and bye bye